Hello and welcome! We are glad you're planning a field trip to Denver Zoo. There are many exciting opportunities here for you, and we'd like to give you some tips so that you can make the most of your trip. The best place to start your planning is Denver Zoo's website. Here, you can register your group, sign up for a class or guided tour at the zoo, and download helpful field trip discovery units. You can also find an application for the Red Apple Scholarship Fund, which is available to groups needing financial assistance for their field trip. If you are planning a field trip into our newest exhibit, Toyota Elephant Passage, we offer free field trip discovery units to help you connect learning in your classroom to learning on the field trip. Each grade-specific learning unit is developed around Colorado academic standards and offer before visit, at the zoo, and after visit activities that all build up to a final project. You can also check out a free loan library for your classroom with books, games, and activities. All this and more are available on our website. You can also contact one of our registrars for more information. When planning your field trip, you will need to arrange for one adult chaperone for every 10 students to attend with you. Teachers do count as chaperones. These chaperones have two jobs, to supervise students and to facilitate learning. They do not need to be zoo experts, but a thirst for knowledge and an excitement about Denver Zoo is a must. Please refer to our field trip discovery units and general chaperone guides available on the website for specific guidelines and details. These documents are available in English and Spanish and should be shared with chaperones prior to your visit. Once you have reserved your field trip, your reservation information will have specific details about bus drop-off and parking. When your group arrives at the zoo, remind students and chaperones there are no lockers available and it is difficult to return to the bus before the end of the trip. Everyone should bring water and any packed lunches into the zoo. Regardless of the students' ages, chaperones and students must remain together with their groups at all times. Denver Zoo is a large 80-acre campus, so students should pack lightly, wear comfortable shoes, and dress in layers. Some of the exhibits you might visit include Primate Panorama, Bird World, Predator Ridge, Tropical Discovery, or Toyota Elephant Passage. Maps of the zoo can be downloaded ahead of time at the zoo website or picked up as you enter the zoo. Please remind students to respect all the animals here. The zoo is their home. Please do not chase or taunt the animals and do not feed any of them, including the geese, squirrels, and peacocks. Feeding the animals may be harmful to their health. During your visit, you and your students may have the opportunity to experience animal demonstrations, keeper talks, or speak with volunteer educators around the zoo. These are open to all visitors at no additional cost. Hi, please feel free to ask me any questions you have about the animals here at Denver Zoo. If you would like a more facilitated learning experience, you may sign up for a guided tour or on-site class. During these programs, your students will interact with animal biofacts and learn firsthand from zoo experts. They may also see up-close animal encounters. You can learn more about these classes and tours on the Denver Zoo website. When you use the zoo to enhance classroom teaching, your students will encounter many fun and educational opportunities. Lessons in this setting can cement classroom learning, as well as encourage excitement about science. Here are some things you can do to promote student learning. Provide structure by defining clear expectations and guidelines for their trip, but also allow students to have input about the areas of the zoo they explore. Capitalize on the social nature of this experience by encouraging students to work together with a goal in mind. It's great for them to share in the excitement of their discoveries. Educate chaperones that they play a huge role in student learning. Empower them to ask questions of students and facilitate conversations and exploration. Encourage students to make connections between what they observe the animals doing and their own knowledge and experiences. Most importantly, Make sure your students have time to reflect on their experiences. Follow up your field trip with discussions, activities, and projects in the classroom after your visit. If you are unable to come to the zoo as often as you would like, our outreach programs bring the zoo to you. Similar to on-site classes, outreach programs bring zoo experts into your classroom. The zoo's website is full of information and specifics on each of these classes. Thank you for visiting Denver Zoo. We hope you have a fantastic field trip and we look forward to seeing you soon.